Good morning, YouTube. Here we are with the Chevy Silverado. We're about to install the electrical exhaust cutout. We already have the truck on top. Uh, I'm gonna show you guys a little bit and let's see what you guys think. Hopefully you guys like the setup and hopefully everything comes out great. We're about to install it, but for you guys to know, whoever has a Chevy Silverado, we're gonna remove this cap right here. We're actually gonna put it on right there. It's gonna look like around like that we're gonna modify it from there we're gonna leave this cat and that cat installed they're not gonna be touched we can't put both of them for the reason that it's not gonna fit in this in this space it's, it's gonna be giving me trouble especially with all the heat but we're for sure we're gonna install one that's gonna be okay and then we're gonna keep the other one just for a spare in case something goes sideways later on in the future so hopefully everything works out perfectly just giving you guys an idea for you guys to work on your truck and um, once we connect it we're gonna try it on and hopefully you guys like the noise as well stay tuned for this <laughs> right now we're actually removing the cat once we remove the cat we're gonna start setting up the whole system hopefully everything works out great and hopefully everything comes out exactly as i expect it to come out and i'm ready to hear this noise right now he's setting up the piping i just wanted to show you guys how the borla is set up right here here's a dual pipe borla i know i have it all dirty i go off roading way too often the boiler runs and it goes connected together. And this is boiler right here. As you can see, it's the boiler attack, and that's uh, the one I actually went with. Right here's where the piping starts, and it goes down. We have a three inch pipe, two and a half, so that's what makes my truck really sound really aggressive. It's the setup that we have. Show you guys a little bit of the, about the system or the setup that we have here so you have an idea in case you don't have the exhaust cut out we have the board up you know just set it up and hopefully you guys just like the setup that i have here so far everything has come out perfectly fine the noise is fine it's been 100 guaranteed loud We're welding it together right now. Hopefully everything comes out good. We're gonna actually try it out right now. We have it connected like I was showing you guys earlier. So hopefully it actually looks great. And we're just gonna finish it welding it because we tried it right now, but it didn't work really work out for the fact that it wasn't welded all the way. And now we're gonna weld it all the way to make sure that we get the noise that we're supposed to be getting. And just to show you guys a little preview. So what we realize is that the board is still going to be working aside from that piece. So there's going to be an additional noise. Right now we're going to open it. You're going to see the rumbling, the difference. So now it sounds so much louder. And then when we step on it, it's actually louder. The board still kicks in at the same time.
it's just the Borla. You could now it's just the Borla. shaking once I open it up if I have it closed the floor is not shaking as much once I open it up it's just rumbling all over the place it's really really massive noise I actually enjoy it. I actually love it now I can't wait to actually have it on idle once I'm driving to actually see the real difference when you're driving on gears hopefully by then it's actually kicking in much more but so far this actually works and it's actually 100% guaranteed that I'm gonna love this product and hopefully we'll make more footage about this Now what we're gonna do, we're actually gonna install a little piece right here that's actually gonna face down. So when it faces down, the air of the product is gonna go downwards, which is gonna sound a little bit more heavier for the fact that the way that it's facing right now, it kind of hits the Borla exhaust. So when it hits the Borla exhaust, it does take away a little bit of a sound, but it's not really gonna make much of a difference. Right now it doesn't for the fact that it's lifted, but once you have it on the floor, and that exhaust is actually going to take a little bit of noise. I'm going to show you guys what I'm talking about so you have a little bit of an idea. Let me see. It's going to be hitting right here. So the noise does matter. It's going to hit right here a little bit. It is going to block it a little bit. It's not going to be that much of a difference, but it is going to sound better if we actually drop it a little bit down it's just we're just going to add a pipe right there it's going to drop a little bit down it's not going to make a difference on the noise it's just gonna it's not well it is going to make a difference but it's not going to be like so much louder it's not to actually make it loud it's just to make sure the airflow that it's giving the loudness that it's giving is actually going somewhere and not just taking a little bit away from where it's hitting so hopefully you guys like the sound so far i actually love it and like i said i'm waiting to go take it out and hopefully we do everything right now. It's not gonna be connected, so when I leave, it's not gonna be connected for the fact that we have to go and actually make a hole in which he won't be able to do that, but I'm gonna have to make a hole with my mechanic. And then we're gonna pass the wires through there. And then from there, we're actually gonna connect it. But right now, I'm gonna have it disconnected, so I won't be able to actually test it out until later on this afternoon once the mechanic actually makes the hole and passes the wire through. So like that, it's not just hanging how we have it hanging right now. Right now, we just have it just to test it. So far, it came out good. But let's just wait till later on and we're finally going to make the hole connect through and hide the wire so it's not just hanging how it is. And from there, we're just going to, you know, go 100% all, all out and let's see how everything rolls out. This is actually how it looks now so you have to give you guys an idea how it's going to be facing. It's going to face downwards so it's not going to make a difference in the sound. It's just to make sure that the noise comes down. It's gonna sound exactly how it's supposed to sound, like when we have it in the air, because once it's dropped, like I said, it's gonna hit right here a little bit. It's gonna take away a little bit of the sound, but with this, it's gonna hit the floor, from there, it's gonna bounce back up, and it's gonna sound so much different. To give you guys an idea, the wires right here, we're running down to in, inside the truck, but we're actually gonna put it over, over this piece, and we're gonna make a hole right there somewhere, and it's gonna run directly inside the truck. So we'll go connect it directly to the lighter fuse and like that, it's not being bugged by any heat because all this heat can probably damage it later in the future for the fact that the wire is kind of thin so we just got to make sure we're running through there there's no heat pass it all through there make a hole and just run it through the on, underneath the seats and just connect it uh, so me and my mechanic we finally looked over it uh we connected the part already well the wires we ran it from the opposite side Since the electrical exhaust cutout is down here, the wires are hiding in here. They run inside, they come in. As you can see, right there's the part. We ran the other wire inside in which it comes out right here. So it could be hidden. We had to remove this piece right here. So like that, we could still open it. We brought it out through here because it's a little cut open and you can connect it and just move it a little bit wiggly and it's disconnected. Everything works fine. The remote control works fine. So I have my key and then the remote control. 
so everything works 100%. Uh, I'm a remote starter right now, which also my remote start works as well. Everything works. So I'm just gonna stand on this side. We're just gonna get a quick video of how it sounds. And just to finish up this video, and then hopefully I get some footage of me driving on the streets once everything's set. It does turn on aggressive i like it it's not as aggressive when it's sitting on idle like when i had a straight pipe so that's one thing i don't like but when i'm driving it's a whole different story it's aggressive it rumbles you you feel the floor of the truck shaking i'm not sure what the people feel around me or what they hear but i know it's loud from my end uh i'm gonna get one of the guys is going to start working with me, Jesse, that I've shown him on my other videos. He's actually going to start recording me from the outside. So like that, um, he's going to be driving on a different car next to me, getting footage of how it sounds. We're going to do some launches. Hopefully everything sounds 100% good compared to what I hear inside the truck. But so uh, I'm going to try to install the second. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to install a second cutout as you can see in the video uh, uh sorry my bad the bluetooth connected and cut off the video so i'm continuing right now but i'm gonna install the second cutout they couldn't install it because it, it didn't fit but i'm gonna i'm gonna talk to them and let them know i want it louder it's loud but i'm pretty sure that second cutout is gonna make it so much louder than what it is right now so hopefully it is what i think it is right now uh since it's just me i'm gonna try to rev it um it's the difference hearing it from out there him hearing from in there compared to outside so hopefully you guys like how it sounds uh, i'm just gonna have the camera in here and see how it sounds from in here and you guys let me know I do need a tune. I've been needing a tune since I installed my headers and intake. I haven't gotten that done. That's gonna be another video I'm gonna do. I'm actually gonna order the Bully Dog tuner. And once I order the Bully Dog tuner, my mechanic as well, he's gonna put that on. He's gonna tune the entire truck. And we're gonna save that tune, the stock tune, to make sure anytime we wanna transfer the tune for smog or for any other purposes, we're gonna put the stock tune back on. And then when we're ready, we're gonna put the tune that we add on it back on. So it's gonna. It's just gonna be flipping back and forth so it's gonna be pretty easy i'll make another video showing you guys once we do that so for right now everything is connected uh the electrical exhaust cutout works as well so hopefully you guys enjoy the videos after this thank you guys for watching and stay tuned for how it sounds on the streets like share and subscribe guys thank you